Hey, hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to part one of the Minion series where I'll show you guys how I made my Minion. Uh, this Minion is part of the uh, CG Meetup Minion uh, contest. Yeah, if you guys want to check it out, go visit CG Meetup. Um, links below and in the annotation. So yeah, I suggest you look into all the great Minions that are in. Uh, of course you have to sign up to see them but it's worth it and the deadline is at the end of the month so yeah this tutorial is open so you guys might be able to join yeah that would be great send me send me a link to your minions when you're done and if you joined in I would really want to see that might even give you feedback looking forward to it guys so yeah let's get to it yeah so we'll start with modeling We'll start from the ground up. So, yeah. Start with a sphere. Yeah. Um, we'll split it 8 by 8. And scale that up. Alright. So, basically, we cut this sphere in half. Um, yeah, cut it in half. So, bottom part will be for the bottom and the top part for the head All right so actually we don't even have to cut that you can just pull this guy up All right pull that up and yeah it's a good start let me scale this down a bit now I do suggest we work in side view so we'll get a nice view of the lines here Alright, scale it, and then scale this up, just so they line up, quite nice. Alright, back to perspective. Now, you might not want it to be that high, so let's just pull it down a bit, just a bit. Alright, now rule number one, as always. Make sure you have reference open. Uh, for me, I have this, so I'm kind of fine with this. But yeah, let's let's just go into Google real quick and look up um, minions. Yeah, just so we have uh, really solid references. Yeah, yeah. this looks nice, All right? So the first thing we will tackle will be the basic body and the arms. So we're going to model this to T-Pose because later on in the tutorial I will show you guys how to rig this. And we shall model this with proper topology. Oh, I think I missed something here. Uh -huh. Alright. Front view. Pull that down a bit. Ooh, line that up. Well, back to perspective. All right. All right. So let's start with the arms. Mm, insert edge loop around here, so we can pull the arms out from the side. All right. Now we have to consider the legs in the bottom. Before we continue, let's go to top view. So to bring up this menu, hold down spacebar, then left click on Maya then you can flip to top view alright then this is the right click menu just hold down right click to go to edge yeah I do suggest you guys look up um, if you're beginners I do suggest you guys look up different uh, tutorials for now because I'm gonna be flying through this cause I don't wanna take too much time yeah um, this is really not that basic, but yeah, um, yeah, yeah, you guys will see. I might, I might space out a bit. <laughs> so yeah, I'm deleting one side, um, go to file, no, not file, edit, and then duplicate special, because I want to, oh shit, mm, wrong side, sorry. Yeah, you always have to check which side you're on, so I have to be in the front which is the z-axis, then delete that side, 
and then let's go to duplicate special so let's go to edit duplicate special then let me reset these what you want is an instance and you want to scale it at negative x so what it's gonna do is uh, duplicate special so what this does is whatever I do on one side will happen on another side and that's cool if you want to model to symmetry yeah I have not done any modeling tutorials yet so yeah this will be my first one yeah alright so what we did was we deleted the edges on top I'm sorry I spaced out a bit a while ago was thinking about the beginners and kinda of felt bad I was going a bit too fast but yeah I really have to fly through this tutorial I don't wanna take too much of your time so what we did was we deleted the edge here and here and on the bottom as well because when you select the edges on top the edges in the bottom will be selected as well that's why we went to the top view to make sure that we select the same edges at the bottom just so they're quads so we maintain quads All right. So now I'm going to extract the arms from here. But before that, before that, I want to create a polygon primitive uh, cylinder. Yeah. Let's create this cylinder. Rotate it 90 at Z. There you go. Then for the poly cylinder. I want the axes to be 6. Uh, no. Give it an 8. Give me an 8. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alright, and as for this guy, I can smooth him out. Oh, that wasn't very clean now, was it? Uh, let us rethink this. So it so happens we have to have this merge. So let's just com combine these. Holding down shift and right click, combine. Then go to vertex. Select all the vertices in the middle. Like that. Then go to merge vertices, merge vertices. And there you go. All right. So now that's that's combined. I can smooth this out. Uh smooth uh -huh. just so we can merge these two together awesome All right now let's proceed to this okay so this will be our arm we can go to front view now and let's scale it up to size alright if you hit 3 it will smooth out so we can select the front faces and the back faces and delete that oh sorry let's not delete the front faces because we need that to extrude so select the front faces hit one to go back to hard view then extrude there you go so let's extrude all the way to see the length of the arm and I think yeah this seems to be good length let me scale that down no before we scale down we want to divide this up first, so insert edge loop. This will be our forearm, and this will be our elbow here in the middle. All right now, I'll scale this down. Double click on this to select the edge loop, then scale that down a bit. Double click on this, scale that down. This will be our wrist. So let's do that. All right, now let's go to perspective and let's position this properly. So if I double click here and then hit B. Hold down B and left click to grow that. Um, this is the smooth selection, so I can bend it a bit. Yeah, all right. Move it backwards, and there you have it. We have our arm. Now, how do we merge these? Let's merge them together. Let's delete one side again. It's going to be harder to delete one side because we have a lot of um, geo. But yeah, it should be quite straightforward. Now delete these guys and let's merge these guys together. So before merging, let's take this edge loop, extrude that, bring it out, scale it up a bit. Alright. 
Awesome. Then take this, pull it back a bit. Okay, I didn't want to do that. Uh huh. It's gonna be tricky, tricky, tricky. Okay, let's just move this guy forward a bit. Something like that. All right. Now combine the two, select the two, hold down shift and right click, then combine. Awesome. All right. Let's go to object mode. Hold down shift and right click again. Go to merge and down is the merge vertex tool. So I can drag one vertex to another. I want to follow the shape, so drag that there. Drag, okay. Drag this here. Drag that there. This guy here. This bottom guy there. Okay, now for the bottom pieces, let me rethink this. The bottom pieces, I want this to follow the bottom pieces. Yeah. And then this one to follow that. But this, this one, this little piggy, will follow that one. I'll just push this one back a bit. Yeah. Now, let's add a bit more geo in there. Just so we have a nice shoulder separation going on there. Let me rotate this first. Now here's a cool trick, uh, this is the slide geo tool, uh, slide edge tool. So if you hold down shift and right click with the edge selected, you can go down to slide edge tool and drag with middle mouse to slide. So middle mouse, click and drag and I can slide it uh, following the geo. It's really cool, really handy and it has saved my life thousands of times. Yeah. All right, let me push this back a bit. Awesome. So we really want to maintain that perfect shape. So the more edge loops you add, the better. Especially when we start rigging this guy. Um, there will be a lot of deformation going on here. So you really want to plan out your shoulder here, which we are doing now. Oops, hit the wrong button there. Yeah, I'm sorry if I go too fast. You guys can always rewind the clip. I'm really just flying through. Mm hmm. All right. So I think that's good. And again, if you want to duplicate this, when we set the duplicate special, we don't have to set it again. It's going to maintain those values. And the shortcut for that is Control Shift D. So now we have. Uh, this basic shape, which is awesome. Yeah, looking great. All right, now let's check the reference to see if our arms are a bit too long. Um, they do seem quite, quite long. No, I think they're just right. Now, as we can see, this is not as symmetrical as what we have, but eventually, when we have it rigged, we will we will have um, a bit of asymmetry going on so don't worry uh, I do see that the shoulder pops out a bit more so let's let's go back to our geo and work on that so let's take this shoulder hit B soft selection and pull that out a bit more yeah awesome alright let's have a, let's add a bit of posture to it. Maybe pull this a bit. Okay. By holding down B. Pull that a bit forward. Just to curve that body a bit. And if we go to faces, select these faces on top, we can pull it back a bit and rotate just a touch. Yeah. So we get a bit of posture going on. Uh, it just adds a bit more to the model. Okay, select all these faces, rotate them a bit, bring them back. There you go. Now he's standing up straight. Awesome. All right, let's go to the, wait, before that, the armpits are a bit off. So this will be hard to deal with um, in the mod, in the rigging part of the minion 
so yeah, just pull this guy up. Um, these verts. 